Hi everyone, my name is Urmila Amnaskar. I'm a cosmetic chemist and in today's video, I'll be talking about the five things that you need to start doing ASAP if you're planning to become a cosmetic chemist. Let's begin. Number one is weighing accuracy. When you start working in the industry, you practically see and use a weighing balance almost every day. You have to weigh raw materials into a beaker or a watch glass and you're always expected to weigh everything accurately. Because even a little difference in the weight of a raw material could alter the texture, the feel and the stability of the product. That's why you have to maintain a good relationship with a weighing balance and just be good at it. Now, how will you be good at it? If you have an access to a weighing balance, that is if you're studying a science related degree and you have your lab sessions or your lab practicals, make it a habit to weigh everything as accurately as possible. If it is 10.15 grams, then it has to be 10.15 grams. 10.14 or 10.16 no nahi chalega and 10.2 to bahut dur ki baat hai bilkul nahi chalega if you start working on this habit since the beginning it will be very helpful for you in the future when you start working as a cosmetic chemist next is reading ingredients list you can also start doing that with the products you have at home all products are legally required to print their ingredients lists on the packaging of any product how this helps you is that you get to know more about what kind of raw materials are used in a cosmetic product sometimes there will be raw materials that are more commonly used you will see them in many products or sometimes you will see something that you have not even heard of before you can go to google to find information about the raw material see the function and also the texture or form of the raw material it is like building your vocabulary but with the context of cosmetic science third thing is texture analysis it sounds very fancy but it is nothing else but taking some product on the back of your palm or on your forearm and trying to analyze what kind of texture it is creating for example this nail mucin essence from cosarex at first it is stringy and has a thin gel like consistency and it is also very watery on application but it spreads nicely on the skin and even if it is stringy it is not sticky at all after the essence is absorbed on the skin the skin feels super hydrated and kind of also gives a dewy skin look fourth one is keeping yourself updated with recent trends you could also take a little bit help from the internet you could use social media to find out what is currently trending for example in the west these days people are more into using natural and sustainable products made from procedures or raw materials that are also natural and sustainable the fifth and the last thing to do or keep doing is reading research papers Books are always a good source of information but research papers are also good and authentic source of information if you want to know more about a raw material a process a manufacturing process research papers are really good to find information about that so these were the five things that really helped me when i was studying cosmetic science in india and in the uk try to incorporate these five things in your life and i'm sure that it will really help you some way or the other when you start working as a cosmetic chemist I hope you got to learn something new today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends and family who would be interested in learning more about cosmetic science. And I'll see you later. Bye.